Adrian Sutil managed to carve out seven seasons worth of racing in Formula 1 and was mainly known for his time racing in the Force India, but he has been out of F1 for quite some time now. So what happened to Adrian Sutil? Sutil started his post-karting career in the Swiss Formula Ford 1800 and emphatically won every race he competed in to effortlessly claim the title here in 2002. 2003 would see Sutil join the Formula BMW Ardak series where he would not be as successful finishing 6th overall but he did claim a few podium places here. Sutil moved into the Formula 3 Euro series for its 2004 season. The season was to be worse than the previous year as Sutil would only finish in the points twice as he limped to 17th in the standings. Teaming up with Lewis Hamilton for a second season in Formula 3 Euro for 2005 saw Sutil's fortunes change for the better. Although Hamilton dominated and won the championship convincingly, Sutil managed to still put together great performances where he won twice and claimed 11 podiums as he comfortably finished runner-up. He then appeared as a part-timer in the now-defunct A1 Grand Prix competition for the 05-06 season before entering the 2006 Japanese Formula 3 championship. The German driver would go on to win 5 races in the season and claim 12 podiums, 7 of which were achieved consecutively with 3 wins in that streak, which was also achieved consecutively. With 212 points, Sutil won the Japanese Formula 3 Championship, and while Sutil would also achieve third at Macau and make a singular appearance in the Super GT the same year, the other major noteworthy event in 2006 was being the test driver at Midland in Formula 1 and appeared as the third driver for 3 events for the year. Adrian Sutil would become a full-time Formula 1 driver in 2007 with Spiker, who had brought the team from the Midland Group in September 2006. It was to be a miserable time for both Sutil and teammate Christian Albers in the Spiker, as they were the perennial backmarkers for the season. But for the first nine races, Sutil outqualified Albers 72 and did outperform him in the majority of races. Sutil would never get outqualified again for the season after the second of Albers. His best performance would come at the back end of the year at the Japanese Grand Prix as Sutil scored his first ever point and although he finished ninth on track, Vitantonio Liozzi's 25 second penalty pushed Sutil into eighth for the final championship point and the only point he'd score in 2007, as well as Spiker's only ever point in its time in Formula 1 as they were to become Force India in 2008. 2008 was very much the same, with Sutil being towards the back of the grid with new teammate Giancarlo Fisicala. Fisicala was to be the superior driver in the early stages of the season. However, the 2008 Monaco Grand Prix showed that Sutil had potential as he was running as high as fourth in the closing stages where he was sadly hit from behind by an out-of-control Raikkonen, forcing the unlucky German to retire. This would not matter overall as the race stewards would have planned to give Sutil a 25 second penalty for overtakes under yellow flags, which would have seen him out of the points had he finished anyways. Sutil's best finish was 13th at Spa as 11 retirements for the year, many from driver error, helped ensure the German driver scored no points for the season, but he did outperform Vizicala as the season went by, outqualifying him in 8 of the last 13 events. With Force India opting to keep Sutil in 2009, Sutil went pointless again for most of the season, going close in China where he was 6th before crashing out. Sutil would finally achieve his first ever points in a Force India, finishing a very impressive 4th place at Monza after qualifying 2nd for the race. Both these results would be a career best. Sutil did not finish in the points again for the remainder of the season as he finished 17th overall with 5 points in what was still a very inconsistent year with other great achievements like 3rd in qualifying at a rain affected Brazil but he still also made some very avoidable errors. The new decade would be a prosperous one for Sutil where he had a bit of a breakout year with an improved Force India car. It would only take him 3 races to get his first points finish of 5th at Malaysia. From the Spanish to British Grand Prix, Sutil would score in 6 consecutive races, highlighted with a 6th and 7th place finish at both Spanish tracks at Catalonia and the Valencia Street Circuit. He would then only score points in 2 of the final 9 races of the season, with an equal season best of 5th at Spa and 9th at Singapore, as Sutil had a career best season points wise, finishing 11th in the driver standings on 47 points and also comfortably outperformed teammate Vitantonio Liozzi in both race and qualifying formats. 2011 proved to be another solid year for Sutil, as although he would have another slow start with just one point scoring finish in the opening 5 Grand Prix, he would otherwise consistently score points throughout the year. To be exact, he scored points in 9 races for the year, and thanks to a great final 3 races where he scored points in each of these, including an equal season best at the final race in Brazil with 6th, 
which he also achieved in Germany, he was able to catapult himself into his best driver standings position ever of 9th with 42 points, which oddly enough was 5 points fewer than in 2010, which saw him lower in the standings thanks likely to a weaker midfield in 2011. He outscored rookie teammate Paul De Resta 42 to 27, but the qualifying count was far closer, 10 to 9 in favour of Sutil. Sutil would not race in 2012, hugely thanks to an off-track incident at Shanghai after the 2011 Chinese Grand Prix, where Sutil allegedly glassed then Lotus F1 team owner Eric Lux. Sutil would then be charged with causing grievous bodily harm in January 2012. He apologised for his actions and says he was only trying to throw a glass at him rather than actually glass him. After a year on the sidelines, Sutil came back to Force India in 2013 in what was at the time a bit of a shock return. Sutil had a couple of impressive races earlier in the year where he finished 7th in Australia and Germany as well as an even more impressive 5th at Monaco, but ultimately his other points finishes were even 9th or 10th place finishes as Sutil ended up 13th overall in the championship on 29 points, 18 fewer than teammate De Resta who was clearly the better driver for the season. Sutil moved from Force India to Sauber for the 2014 season. It would sadly be Sutil's worst season since 2008, where frequent retirements and an ultimately uncompetitive car would see Sutil fail to score any points, particularly agonizingly missing out on points in Australia and Hungary, where he finished 11th. Sutil's performances were basically equal to that of his teammate Esteban Gutierrez, but Gutierrez was slightly the better driver in the back end of the year, with better race results then. Both Sutil and Gutierrez would end up getting replaced by Marcus Ericsson and Felipe Nasser. Sutil left the sport with the unwanted record of most starts without a podium with 128. Nico Hülkenberg broke this record in 2017. So what happened to Adrian Sutil after losing his F1 seat? Well, in 2015, he would get picked up by Williams, becoming their test driver for the year. And after that, well, to be honest, he hasn't done a whole lot. He's been keeping himself out of the spotlight for the most part and doesn't really make many social media posts. The most recently we've heard from Sutil was in July 2020 where he embarrassingly wrecked his very rare McLaren Senna after crashing it in Monaco. Luckily, Sutil came out of the crash unharmed. And that is it for this video. What were your thoughts on Adrian Sutil? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed it.